What's going on YouTube? Today was a great day. We're back with another haul video. This is definitely by far the best haul vid I've ever done. This is like my holy grail of uh, all the pickers I've ever picked up. So I definitely recommend you watch the entire video. I am saving the best items for last. So watch the entire video, but this is definitely my version of the holy grail. And to me on my level, this is my best haul vid or best pickup ever. So let's just jump into it. Check out the things I picked up. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. First we got, get this from the dollar store. Came in this like little pack with a little cheap little figure. Um, no detail or anything really to it, but for a buck from the 99 cent store. It's got this cool little like, you know, Gatlin type gun on the stand, tripod gun. Really cool. The figure I just threw away or something or gave it away, I don't know. Came in this little shield or whatever. And actually it fit like in a six inch scale figure's hand. I know it came with a three and three quarter figure, but it actually fit in a, like a legend's hand with the little, zoom in right quick, little handle. So that's cool, I'll probably paint it back black. Sorry, uh, came with a little mega horn. Yeah, today was just a good day for, for haul pickups, man. I got some real cool stuff. Like a little battling ram to knock down doors. So all that came in the pack with the figure. I got rid of the figure, but for a dollar for 99 cent. Just all plastic, cheap, hollow plastic, but it's cool. Also went to Hobby Lobby. Picked up this nice big flat screen for like six inch scale. It was uh, $6.99, so not bad at all. And if you flip it upside down, it comes with a little remote control, also packaged in there. So you can put it in the figure's hands or whatnot. So I can't wait to use that. On the back it just says, you know, flat screen TV with remote, Hobby Lobby. So seven bucks, definitely worth it. You know, I mean, I do have, I already had uh, these little TVs, little flat screen. These are actually be magnets, picture frames, going like your refrigerator or whatever. But I popped the magnets out of them. You can pretty much tape anything that look like they're watching like a video or something like that. I kind of taped a picture of Spider-Man right here, just on one of them. Popped the magnet out, sit flush like little flat screens, and I just made it like I had it set up back in the day where Norman Osborn was like watching, you know, Spider-Man on TV or whatever. So, and I got like eight of those. So actually, if anybody needs these, hit me up in the comments and we can work out a deal or a trade or you can buy these four off me and I kept four. Not not this one, that's for me, but I'll let somebody trade or buy these four off PayPal or something like that. Little Good little TVs, flat screens. You can put whatever little picture you want in them. There's no magnets, magnets on the back so you don't worry about messing anything up. All right. Anyway, on with the haul vent. I also got the... Black Series Han Solo. Man, this figure is sweet, man. I can't wait to open this bad boy up. Walked in my local Target and it was the only one on the peg. So I didn't even really, you know, think twice about that. I just snatched that bad boy up. Pretty sweet figure, man. I'm pretty excited about that. This is only the third Star Wars Black Series I have. I have over there. I have the... Boba Fett over there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, and Dark Maul is, I think, up in the top shelf somewhere. But I only got three so far. I do plan on getting them all. But uh, I haven't yet, so. Okay, on to the next. I got this Electro. At that same target. This was on the peg, and the Superior Spider-Man was on the peg, and the other regular Spider-Man was on the peg, which I already have both of those too, so um, I needed this one. And I also still need, like many of you, the Black Cat and the, the Carnage. And I guess now the variants are even out. I've seen some people have those in hand as well, so I am looking for those too. But I was, I was happy to get this. I mean, 20 bucks is steep to me. It doesn't seem like any of these legends are worth 20 bucks. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think the Star Wars figures, I mean, another 20, but they're worth it kind of to me. The detail and stuff is amazing, but the legends are not. But anyway, you know, you gotta, I guess you gotta pay for what you want, you know, supply and demand type thing. So I picked it up. 
one step closer to building my uh, ultimate green goblin. So that was that. Let's see what else we got. Definitely, like I said, watch the entire video because it's definitely got some goodies in it. Uh, I picked up this. Um, I don't collect much DC stuff, but I do like movie master figures and you know cool figures. I really like this movie Man of Steel, and these figures are seven dollars at the Fry's grocery store. At least here in Arizona, they are. It's seven bucks, so I'm gonna try to pick up as many as I can. I saw this one, and they had the General Zod and um, the other Spider, not Spider Man, Superman, and just the straight up form like that. And it's seven bucks at my local grocery store, so I'm gonna try to pick them all up. Like I said, I don't get many DC figures because I'm really more a Marvel guy, but uh, for seven bucks, you can't go wrong with that. So I picked this guy up first, and um, I'll definitely try to pick up the rest if they still have them. They had quite a bit of General Zods and and uh, the other Superman, so looking for that in the father. So yeah, we got that. Not bad for seven. Also today, I went to the collector's marketplace here in Arizona, in Phoenix, uh, where I live at. And I managed to pick up this. Not a bad price. 16 bucks. Ultimate Storm Shadow. Let's focus in here real quick. Man, this figure is sweet, man. I've been wanting this figure for a while, but, you know, I was checking it out and watching a few on eBay, and they were like, you know, 25, 30 bucks. You know, I didn't want to pay that. So I went to my, the uh, collector's marketplace today in Phoenix, Arizona, and managed to score for 16 bucks. No tax. They also had the Snake Eyes as well. Same price, 16 bucks with Timber. They had pretty much all of them, so I'm going to try to pick up the ones I want. I already got the Cobra Commander. He's up here actually in my uh, castle right there which he's, he needs to be in that one because I have two of the same castle but that's going to be like the bad guys or, cast, or Destro's castle or castle Destro um, but for now he'll be in this one but yeah man I've been wanting to storm shuttle for a minute so it was pretty sick you know what I mean yeah, as I'm shooting this vid I'm just kind of you know just rambling off and going to flow. You know, it's late here tonight, so just enjoying the night, man. Uh, watching a little bit of a uh, X Men Evolution series and sharing some of my hauls. And I got all this pretty much today, so really sweet day, man. Okay, and like I said, this is by far to me um, the best haul that I picked up probably ever or in a long time. Um, and I'll show you why now we're getting to the good stuff. So I guess I hope you guys bear with me. I got the uh, Rogue Extreme from the X-Men Classics figure. I've been wanting this for quite a while. Got a real sweet deal on this today. Uh, really good condition. I've been looking for this for a while, man. And you know, trying to, I've been watching this also on eBay, and sometimes you can get, you know, kind of pricey. So I got this a little while ago. So that's cool. Can't wait to, you know, do some posing and ACBA and stuff with her. Pretty dope figure. If she'll stand up, though. <laughs> Maybe she won't. Or I'll just set her down somewhere. Stay there. All right. And now what I've really been really looking for today, or for years actually, I managed to get, you probably can tell what it is. You may have saw a sneak peek early in the video. I managed to get Bobby Drake, a really good deal. Uh, when I say really good deal, I, you won't believe it. I mean, of course, I won't necessarily say how much I paid for it, but man, unbelievable deal. And the person I got it from, Real mad cool dude, so I got a shout out to him. So if you're ever in uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, and you go to the Collector's Marketplace on Indian School Road, you know definitely check out uh, my boy Dustin. Real cool guy. A lot of figures, a lot of Marvel Legends and stuff like that. And he'll definitely come through with you. But yeah, I won't say you know how much we worked out a deal for, but definitely a cool dude. So I've been I've been wanting this figure for a long time, man, and I finally got it. You know I'm really stoked. Really happy about that. Put that in my uh, X-Men collection setup. So yeah, that's that. But wait, 
there's more so stay tuned right here hold on all my figures are drunk they don't want to stand up <laughs> I also got Bobby Drake men on card now the crazy thing about this is my girlfriend got me this in the same day so she know I've been looking for this figure for well since it came out you know how rare it is all you collectors out there she got me one mint on card gave it to me today and it was like happy early uh, Valentine's Day and then I managed to score this was super cheap super super cheap so I got two Bobby Drakes in one day one mint on card one loose I don't have to open this one I can leave that on ice as I like to say and I can display this one so man that's my haul, guys. Uh, to me, this is like a holy grail to me. I've been wanting this Bobby Drake for a while, and you know how pricey this guy can get. Uh, and I managed to get both of them really, really cheap. One mint, one loose, so I can have the best of both worlds. Anyway, I hope you guys are, are enjoying my videos. Please subscribe to my videos, rate, comment, and I, I'm going to keep doing this as long as you guys want to see it. Please stay tuned for all my future videos coming out. I'm um, bringing back some of the series I used to do. Uh, if you guys used to follow me on my old channel, Dalen757, yes, that is me. I used to do a series called uh, Terrific Team Presents, where I would present a certain team at that week or that month that I like. And I used to also do a series called uh, Marvel Legends Family Ties, where I would show characters that were related by either blood, marriage, whatever the case may be, and a few other shows. So I am bringing all those shows back on this channel so I hope you guys enjoy it um, I hope you guys are having great haul days haul vids and just be blessed man remember keep collecting spread the love peace